Welcome, my lovely Virgos. How are you? It's Robin. I love you. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. We're going to take a look real quick and see what's going on. <clears throat> Just going to be a real quick reading for my Virgos. Someone rising, Venus, North, No. Sending you love and good energies, Virgo. And um, let's see how this goes. Let's take a look at you and your person and the energy between you. And if you're not with them, I would be happy to pull a card that tells you what might be on their mind. It might be your, you might be this person or you might be that person. It could play either way. Thank you for being on my channel. Thank you so much for hitting the like button so that my channel can be discovered by other Virgos. And um, you might also check your rising and moon reading as well and see how those, any of those relate to you. So let's take a look. Virgo, Soma, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node. Calling in the energies, elements, air, fire, water, earth, ether. Calling in my divine guides. Calling in your divine guides to speak with me as I speak with you. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your love and support. It's very important. Um, if there's any way I can help you, feel free to tap into my, my website or my Etsy shop. And just, you know, wow, the first card we got. Someone feels like someone's not putting enough into the relationship. Excuse me while I look at the lighting here from the camera perspective. No, that's better. Sorry. I guess I don't need that much light on it. Okay. So the five of coins is when someone has been left out in the cold. I mean, just either put out, left out, or left out of something. Not enough money, not enough support, and just feeling like completely locked out of something. I don't know what that is. Um, I don't know what that is. Usually it represents um, serious relationships connections, money, uh, something that isn't working really good at this time, maybe just money issues. Keep going, Spirit. Show me Virgo's energy, please, in this reading. Show me the beautiful Virgos. What comes out? Oh, hello. Hi, loves. How are you doing? You're awesome. You're just awesome. Oh, look. So you're sitting in this uh, energy of being... Um, Completely honest about everything right now. At least you should be, or you wouldn't get this card. And this is a sun card. This is usually considered the Leo energy. But what it is, is like somebody feels like they're getting a brand new start after being out in the cold, maybe. Yeah, something new is happening. Brand new start. There's healing. There's uh, innocence. There's growth. There's well-being. And that's what we want to see. Tell me more about my leave, my leave, uh, blah, 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 sorry, Virgos. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, see, you've had, you've showed incredible strength and dignity in a situation that left you feeling cold um, and left out and not treated right, you know, shorthanded, something of that nature. And look at you. You said, I tamed the beast, man. I went back in. And I became a whole new person here. I reinvented myself. The Ten of Wands is um, carrying way too many burdens, way too much work, way too much dumped on you, way too much. And you were trudging along with it. You were surefire going to get this to its destination. However, how do you like it? Finally, something good is happening. And you're going to be able to, by your own strength, put that burden down and not be burdened with it any longer. Excuse me while I turn on my fan. I don't know why it's like a thousand degrees in here. At least it feels that way right there. Come on, baby. Are you going to work for me? Well, it would if it was plugged in. There we go. Now I'm going to feel better. All right, sweethearts. So... Let's get on with this. Now, it isn't that your readings are not done or anything. It's that it takes forever to upload them. So I thoroughly appreciate your presence. And I believe if you're watching my videos, you are drawn to see them. 
okay, your person. Oh my God. Now it doesn't have to be your person. It doesn't have to be your person. Okay. But somebody's person, um, could be a Gemini and it might be the Gemini that puts you out in the cold. Um, it could, this could also be a boss, someone you're dealing with, someone you're thinking of. They didn't win. They lost this battle. The choice they made was the wrong one because you're so victorious. Look at your qualities. I mean, so whatever this was, they didn't get a victory in it. This is a, it could be a Gemini. It could be a lover themselves doing something. I'm not sure. Let's clarify that. Clarify this from the spirit. What is this person? Why did why is the six of wands the victory card of getting a victory over there? Somebody's some okay. This is about lust um, with one of you, or some of you. Your partner was too much. Uh, they held on to another lover, or they chose another lover, uh, and they didn't get victory with that lover. Share this. Why? Because there was no offer made. Somebody pulled back their offer. This is a long-term relationship offer. Slow and steady as she goes. Might be you, huh? Maybe you put down your burdens by saying, bye boy or bye girl, I'm out. You know, maybe you did. Uh, they, you've kind of left them in there, left them out in the cold and left them in their treachery, whatever that is. You know, let's see what, what's the energy between you? Blocked. Unable to communicate. Unable to see anything. And on a different page altogether. Narcissism. Could be a, Vir uh, could be a Gemini, yes. Because this is someone that um, is every tarot reader, well, if they're honest with you, would say that the Queen of Swords in reverse is not an upright person. She's upright and tells the truth. You know, she's got boundaries and principles and she'll tell you what's on her mind, you know. And of course, she, she's very talkative and she means well. She just has her own boundaries. But when she's in reverse, she's awful. She's awful. They say mean things to you. They speak improperly to you. Um, and it, it, it's sometimes called the narcissist card, but um, anyway. So, where are we now with this person? Could be an, I don't know why I'm getting this. It's just somebody's story. Yeah, there's absolutely no, no, no affection there whatsoever. The Four of Cups, what else, please? There might be a little money offer coming from that. If it's a husband or a spouse that cheated and you're like, no, I'm out. I got this. And uh, they did bad. They're going to have to pay up. That's what I hear. This person that did that to you, male or female, because they're not gender specific. They're, they're, you love who you love. Yeah, they definitely, they definitely did some sharing. And I don't know if they invested in the wrong thing or the wrong person, but they were given to two. And I think you knew that. And you're like, mm-mm, mm mm-mm, mm mm-mm, mm no, 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 you're out. Now, what's going to happen with my Virgos? Hello, honeys. How do you like being wealthy and self-respecting and connected to God and, and the guides and dignified and abundant and healthy, wealthy, and wise. What's going to happen with that person? They're not getting their wish. They lost you. Let's find out. Um, it looks like they're going to marry that other person. That's whoever that is. Yeah, they're going to marry that other person. Another earth sign, perhaps. Huh. If they had something they want to say to you that they keep secret and they don't tell you. Let's take a look at what romance says to you, though, at this time, Virgos. This one, porcupine quill. That's cool. All right. Here we go. Spirit, Holy Spirit. What are the love messages from my fabulous Virgos? 
You're worth waiting for. You're the nine of coins right now. You're in the role. You don't have to put up with this anymore. This other nonsense. There is wedding here. There was a wedding involved. And your advice from the romance angels is to really, really pour that love on yourself right now so you can continue to grow. Unfortunately, let me find out something. Let me have an energy oracle about this. See? Speaking up your truth, standing in your truth, you have the help of Archangel uh, Gabriel right now to speak what it is you need to speak, to say what you need to say, um, and get your work done. You're in the process of blooming, a blossoming abundance. How about that person over there? Huh. I'm not going to read that. They're a traitor. But I will see what's on their mind. These are the um, his situation cards. You can apply to either one. What's going on with this? What do they want to say to Virgo? I don't feel I deserve to be happy. What a liar. That sounds narcissistic, doesn't it? People look up to me, and I don't want to let them down. Sounds materialistic and people-pleasing. I'm slowly making my way back to you. No, you're blocked. The reason you've been thinking about me is because I've been thinking about you. Well, if you're getting married to somebody else, stop it. I'm broken inside. Well, that says a lot. So whoever you are with, oh my goodness. Now, this doesn't apply to every one of you. This is for someone specific that needed to give confirmation that they're not losing their mind and that they do have dignity and respect. They are in the favor of the divine at this time. For being left out in the cold or having the wisdom to speak up during the process of abundance and self-respect, um, putting up with a relationship or something like that that was very, very disrespectful and they chose someone else and they're connected and bonded with that person. But at the same time, they're sitting here like drooling over you. No, it doesn't work that way unless Virgo says it works that way. And Virgo has principles. So you have to be respectful of our beautiful Virgos. If you like the reading, please hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe, feel free and hit the all bell. And I appreciate that. And if you really like... If you like my live readings or want to join, Sunday night are really good. Sunday nights are who's secretly in love with you. That's what I'm going to be doing on Sunday nights as a regular. I'm going to do who's secretly in love with you. I love that. I thought that was so much fun. So we're going to go into that and and um, join me on Sunday nights at 9 Central Time on YouTube here. And then um, Saturday at 10 a.m., I kind of mix it up. It depends on what the energies are producing forward. But I do mix it up. And I'll do like pick up piles one Saturday. Um, you, them, you versus them. Sometimes I'll do collective. Sometimes I'll do breakthrough readings. But really the truth is, is that we just tap in. And if you join my channel, like versus Robin's Realm Readings join, it's only $2.99 a month to support me and give me back in a better status with YouTube. and But what it does for you, though, is I call your name. I will I will acknowledge you on my lives. And if you have a badge from joining, you can stay after the end of the collective reading that I'm working on. And you can ask me a question and I'll pull a mini reading for you, okay? That is why I do that, because I think it's an awesome way to connect and to, you know, actually help you for $2.99 and not $29.99 or $59.99 or whatever, you know, just something I came up with. I thought, you know what? I should do that. I hadn't done it for two, four, well, since 2018. I hadn't done it, set the join or anything, but I could have. Um, but now we can. So if you really like my work and you really like to trust my source, join my channel. I will love on you. I want your wonderful and namaste for God.